though we're just freezing out some brood boxes. This is my reefer trailer. These are some brood boxes we called out through the season. Those little bastard wax moths have taken refuge in these boxes and starting to make a mess. So I turned on the reefer van a day or so ago and they've had a good 24 hours of solid freeze. Put this inside just to make sure I can see that it's actually freezing. And it's cold as hell in there. So we have three more stacks to put in. As you can see, this is particularly bad. Uh, not so bad. It's little pricks. I'm gonna freeze them out. So this will help protect my comb. It'll naturally, it'll naturally freeze in a month or so, but I want to protect my comb the time being. Here, I'm just going to take a peek. Oh yeah, froze solid. So that'll help preserve my equipment until we use it next year. So I'm back now. It's a cool, miserable day today, but an excellent day to move bees. So I just picked up a couple nuke yards. These are the nukes that I built, uh, which we are now going through and just dropping into all the dead spots, just filling in, uh, bringing the yards back up to their numbers. It's a good day to do it. It's cold as hell today. It's a miserable day. They all stay nice and neat in their cluster and there's not a lot of flight to bother us. So the boxes are a little rough. But these are the later nukes we made up and we're kind of scrounging for equipment this spring with just the, the tremendous growth that we experienced. We had a hard time keeping up to the growth and we were just making nukes left, right and center. So anyways, these guys are going to be dropped into the dead spots just to uh, fill up the yards again, fill in all the dead spots. And then I don't have to think about that summertime loss anymore. Once I fill in those dead spots, then everything is back up to its numbers and everything looks good again. So that makes me happy. So around the honey house here, things are just kind of getting a little bit chaotic and cluttered. We're trying to keep busy on these rainy days best we can, so we're just kind of, you know, putting together equipment, just trying to salvage things that get thrown in the corner. Just make work job. Now I have Kerry working on the excluders now. So we'll bring out this old wax sump again. And we have this thing cooking for, you know, the next little while as we, as we put through the excluders just to melt off the wax and propolis and just kind of, we uh, brush them clean. Just makes a nice job. And now that we're done playing around with this thing, we put a barrel of wax in here this morning. It looks like we could have poured it. So this thing is going to cook through probably a barrel a day, maybe more than a barrel a day, and we'll just keep tapping until we're done. And then we'll start putting through the, uh, the melted blocks just to clean them up a bit. So that won't take long at all. So we'll just put the blocks in. Well, we'll fill it up with water up to this level. And we'll just keep putting the full blocks in and just tap out the clean wax out of the side tap. We'll let all the honey settle down, any slum that's left in there will be pressed down. So should make pretty quick work at that. It's just the place is becoming a disaster. You know, <sighs> just clean her up. <laughs> 